Opening day festivities wrapping up, and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, happy new year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. Just about ready to go. Our starter in this one, John Means. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball throw. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to Mountcastle. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The left fielder. Rymel Tapia. Rymel Tapia up to hit. Here it comes. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And a pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. The pitch. Line drive, caught. Batting four. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. And the batter is George Springer. Means back to work. Rip to short. The throw to second is offline. And that is that. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. And on the mound today, Kevin Gossman. Chris, what are you looking for from him? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Bottom of the first. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. There's the strike. Next pitch is downstairs. One ball, one strike. Kicks and fires. 
So now one and two. And that chance handled. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The second baseman. Jorge Mateo now. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. That's to third. Chapman handles. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down. That is third. Two outs, Look, base is empty. Good. Here's the center That's fielder, good. Cedric Mullins. Oh. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Two outs. Stays alive. The punch out there. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Scoreless after one. Back now at Oriole Park. And now Oscar Hernandez. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. Wide to kick the pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's Guriel. The pitch. That is fair. The designated hit. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. Rolls across the diamond. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Singy, it was close. Max. Looks like they want a second Chapman. to review it and possibly challenge the call if they think he beat the throw. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Here's one more look, Singy. You think they're going to overturn it? I kind of do. Yeah, I think there's a good chance as well. I mean, the more I look at these different angles, the more. The decision's been made. And he's safe. Upon so they overturn review, the, call the call and they get it right by taking a chance with a challenge. And here is Matt Chapman. And the pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one is gone. Matt Chapman hits one out. And they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The second baseman. 
Kevin. On the ground. Sends it to first. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the shift. Reese. Here's McGuire. Reese McGuire. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Really nice job staying now up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. And a pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, that's a now nasty that line he's got brewing, boo. Gave up Primal. six hits already, and we're just in the second inning. I know they haven't scored against him yet, but they will if he doesn't figure it out real soon. One down. Now the left fielder, Rymel Tapia. And he's already singled in this game. Here comes a pitch. Center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. He makes the throw, but it's not in time. And a run scores. These days, most outfielders now play pretty it. deep, the and I'm not sure if that Vladimir was a factor Guerrero there or not, but Junior. off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. One away, runners at first and third. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the pitch. Line drive. <laughs> Runner from third comes across. It's 5 nothing. Now batting the center fielder, George Springer. Here's George Springer. And here it comes. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Up the middle. They get the force. And that is the third out of the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Back here in Baltimore, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Hey, Here's off. Ryan Mountcastle. Oh, oh. The first baseman. The pitch. Ryan. There's a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's his second strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to Matty, shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little right. anxious. Mancini. Trey Mancini now. The right hander back to work. And that one is in for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. The 0 2. Swings and misses. Now two away. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Anthony Santander at the plate. The pitch. And the first offering is fouled off.
The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Righty delivers. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. All set for the start of the inning. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The right field. Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and now they've just been knocking him around through the first hitter. two plus. He's got to get things back on Here track. Maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. He's already homered here in this one. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. The batter number eight. Second base, Kevin. Kevin Biggio, Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. He's 0 for 1. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back-to-back -back yeah, base that, hits. I that, really like that Reece. swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. That's as far as John Means will go, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. D.L. Hall gets the ball now. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. And next for Toronto, Reese McGuire. And a pitch. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Blue Jays leave a pair. But they hold a 5 0 lead. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third, and now it's Austin Hayes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having. Those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two out. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout. Batting all up. fastballs. The Man, catcher. he's got a lot of confidence Robinson. in that pitch right now. Chirino. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. And the pitch. Going one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. One and two. Next pitch.
up. Chapman has a beat on it. And that's the inning. Orioles held in check there. It's 5-0. Start of the fourth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette. The, 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 the wind of the pitch. Swing and a line drive caught. Up next Rymel Tapia Jays. next up the for the Blue Jays. Rymel. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a base hit right there. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything. Baseline. Really good balance, Vladimir nice Guerrero. extension, Jr. and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. And here it comes. Swung on, belted. Back there. Into the bleachers and gone. Vladdy blasts one out the opposite way. His first homer of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. The center field. Paul back to work. George Springer. Liner, base hit. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. We've all seen the Up defensive the shift Blue make Jays. a big difference the in right defending field. against pull Teoscar hitters, but it's not Menendez. foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And the pitch. Line drive. Oh, he dropped it. Off balance feet. There's one. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Well, I guess we could chalk that one up to great teamwork. It wasn't pretty by any means, but helping your teammate out like that and then knowing he had time to go to second. Keep a runner out of scoring position. Very heads up play right there. Now we couldn't hear it with all the noise in this ballpark, but I'm sure there was some good communication right there, some body language. These guys got it done. Goes to third, hey. in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Just so now sound in his mechanics. Hits against hit. a firm front Matt. side, yeah. and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. The pitch. That one ripped. Mullins racing over to make the catch. The Jays get a pair on this homer. It's now 7-0. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Ramon Urias. For the, the right hander back to work. A shortstop. Just off the outside part of the plate. Yo, well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And one and two. Got him looking. And there's one down. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Now Seven batting. punch Second outs already. Base. So this lineup oh, hasn't man. had much success much trying to Mateo. figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. At the play, Jorge Mateo. And there's a foul ball. The 0 1. Fouled off. He was late. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the 2 Out to short. Bichette collects it. Bichette whips it to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Orioles hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back now at Oriole Park. Here's the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Big up for Toronto. The second baseman. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Biggio. And he can't make the play. Now back. The catcher. Reese McGuire. So up next for Toronto, Reese McGuire. One for two. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw to third, safe. And runners at the corners to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Bo Bichette up to the dish. And a pitch. That's towards center. Mullins puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. No tag from third, so he holds there with one gone. And now the for the Jays, Rymel Tapia. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Here comes a pitch. Line, and that's a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and it's an eight-run lead. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. New pitcher on here, Jorge Lopez. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's two down. And now the center fielder, George Springer. One for three. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 9-0. Throw is low, and it gets by. He's good. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Line drive. And that is that. Last half of the fifth coming up. Jays 9 and the Orioles 9. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. And a swing and a miss there. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Next offering is downstairs. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. The designated hitter, Trey Mancini. And next is the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. He was a strikeout victim his first time. 
He swings and fouls one off. And the righty deals. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now at 10 K's with still a few innings left, so now expect batting. him to add Flight on field. to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. And first offering is fouled off. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. Next one misses and a count one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. Next pitch just misses and the count's two even strikes. at two. And down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9 nothing deficit. Back here in Baltimore, start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Rips one to right. Can't get their base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Gurriel trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. Tries to get back in time, but they got him. Now that the right hander back to work. That's ripped. Base hit. Around first, digging for two. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Eight. Off the bat, it Second was headed base. for the gap all the yeah, way. Man. And as a hitter, you love Rufio. seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Kevin Biggio getting ready to hit. The pitch. And a foul ball. In the air, center field. Mullins moving under it. And he moves up to third, now two away. Now Reese Maddie. McGuire Catcher. next up for the Blue Jays. And this is McGuire. a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. Tap to first. Oh, what a stop. Mountcastle to first in time. That's the third out. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Great job of hitting that moving target. They're going to be fired up in the dugout. Welcome back. Now, here is Austin Hayes. Leading off. And a pitch. There's a strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these the hitters. Baseman. It doesn't look like it's a okay. fun at bat. And all of a sudden, oh, you cool. come in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Odor comes up empty with a swing oh, there. Batting here with one away. The Orioles still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a couple of quick outs. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he now wants with is. the baseball right now. The catcher, Robinson. Chirino. Robinson Chirino's now up to hit. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Got him. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. 
Well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Bo Bichette up to the dish. The shortstop. Bo Bichette. Wind in the pitch. That's out to center field. Mullins makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Up next to the Rymel Tapia up to hit. The left fielder. Rymel Lopez back to work. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already now is batting. bat stays the in the zone on Vladimir plane for an extended Guerrero period of time. Junior. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And here it comes. And that one is lifted in the air. Mullins moving under this one. That's out number two. The center fielder, number four, George. Springer. And the batter is George Springer. And the right hander back to work. This to third. It's through for a hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Santander makes the catch, and that'll do it. Blue Jays leave a pair, but they're still in command. 9-0. Back now at Oriole Park, set for the last half of the seventh. The batter will be the shortstop, Ramon Urias. That's in for a strike. You know, he's been so great today, really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Bounce to the right. And he takes it himself for the out. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. Jorge Mateo now. The pitch. And it's fouled away. The Orioles hitless so far in the game. Next pitch misses. And the count even one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Next offering misses. It's two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Cedric. I wasn't kicked down with a lip ring. Hit swing, get dumb. Looking at the way that you dance. I want to know where you from. Left cheek, right cheek. How you getting in? And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And the pitch. Bounce to third. Zips it to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And welcome back. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now that third baseman, Matt Chapman. The wind of the pitch. Bounced out to short. Over to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. The batter number eight. Second base. Two outs, base is empty. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Snags it on the run. 
And that is that. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they still hold a 9 nothing lead. Back here in Baltimore, here's Ryan Mountcastle. Leading off for the Orioles. And a pitch. The first baseman. In for a strike. Oh, yeah. Strike one. Mountcastle. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. One. Next one just misses. And that's ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So oh, right okay. there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next pitch misses outside. Ball three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Trey Mancini now. now. The designated hitter. Trey Mancini. And he deals. And that's him for a strike. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Not close with that one. Going to count one and two. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Out number two. Anthony Santander at the plate. The pitch. And there's the strike. The Orioles still looking for their first hit in this one. Two outs. Taps softly to the right side. Guerrero takes it to the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Orioles held in check there. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Welcome back. Here's Reese McGuire. Leading off for the Blue Jays. The right-hander back to work. Line McGuire. drive. And a base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Nice line drive to now the whole side, met it out front, but just so stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Here comes a pitch. This one in the air center field. Mullins settles underneath it, makes the grab one down. And at first, now the number two hitter, Rymel Tapia. The pitch. That one the other way. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batter, the first base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's it to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The center field. Here's George Springer. And here it comes. Swing and a base hit. Run comes in from second. It's 10 0. Yeah, they put the tag on him. That's the third out. Over. So bottom of the ninth, and now Austin Hayes. No left fielder. Austin. Pitch. Hey. And a foul ball. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Righty delivers. And one and two. They want to make sure 
they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books, they are going to make the play. The next offering misses, and the count is two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses, will count now. At the belt and fires. Smoked on the ground a second. Scatters and throws to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Brugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Brugnet. The pitch. Odor. And a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. That's Next ball. one misses, and that's ball two. Two ball, two strike. Bounce to the left side. Chap picks it up. The throw to first. Now only one out remaining. Up next for the Orioles. The catcher. Robinson. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. And the right hander back to work. Whoa, that misses. One and oh. He's one out away from a null hitter. And a count one and two. And he rings him up, called strike three. It's a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. Sub wolf a bouncing like a trampoline. Glass shape when I roll past the scene. Candy apple paint dripping classic green. Everybody eating, you can ask the team. Fast and mean, speakers bumping, tags is clean. Keep me something to f on bad. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, 10 runs on a large number of hits. No errors, they left 13 men on base. For the Orioles, no runs on no hits. One error, they left no runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes. Inside the show, here's your host, Justin Allegri. Opening day is behind us, so let's look back at how the first games of the year played out on the diamond. Looking first at the American League East, Kevin Gosman etched his name in the record books, tossing a perfect game as the Blue Jays claimed the win over the Orioles, 10-0. The Boston Red Sox amassed 14 hits in the game as they beat the visiting Rays 9-3. The Yankees grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington 6-3. The Chicago White Sox grabbed the win over the visiting Twins 5-4. The Cleveland Guardians pitched well, allowing only three hits as they grabbed the walk-off win over the Royals 3-2. The Philadelphia Phillies totaled 13 hits as a team as they blasted the Astros 7-1. The Halos knocked out 12 hits as a team as they defeated the A's in Oakland 4-0. The Mariners defeated the visiting Tigers 4-3. Charlie Morton twirled a dominating complete game shutout on the mound as the Braves downed the Marlins 3-0. The Nats took care of the Mets at City Field 4-3. The Cubs picked up 14 hits in total as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati 6-4. 
The Milwaukee Brewers pitched well, allowing only three hits as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks two to nothing. The St. Louis Cardinals combined to give up just five hits as they defeated the Pirates at PNC Park two to one. The Colorado Rockies combined for four total home runs as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine nine to seven. The San Francisco Giants pitched well, allowing only three hits as they grabbed a victory over the Padres at Petco.